You may be seated. It's our joy and our privilege to introduce to you Joseph Edward Massey III. This is Joseph. Um, he's been a friend of ours for a long time, and, and I know there are many friends who'd like to come and join him and celebrate with him, um, to come and stand um, to be with Joseph, to support him. Um, I know my husband Andy and Joseph grew up together, um, and they even share their middle name, and they have known each other for a long, long time. So of you guys coming up here, raise your hand if you've known Joseph since three or younger. I think all of you maybe. Okay, the boys at least, um, for a long, long time. And um, so Joseph's been a part of our church and our small group ministries and friendships and um, hey, we've known him for a long time and um, recently came back into the 11 o'clock service sitting in the balcony because he needed a little more pipe organ in his life. Um, so we're just thrilled to um, have him here today to receive him in baptism. Um, so Joseph, um, we'll restart this. All right. Brothers and sisters in Christ, through the sacrament of baptism, we're initiated into Christ's holy church. We're incorporated into God's mighty acts of salvation and given new birth through water and the spirit. All of this is God's gift offered to us without price. So Joseph, I ask you these questions. On behalf of the whole church, I ask you, do you renounce the spiritual forces of wickedness Reject the evil powers of this world and repent of your sin. Yes, do you accept the freedom and the power that God gives you to resist evil, injustice, and oppression in whatever forms they present themselves? Yes, do you confess Jesus Christ as your Savior, put your whole trust in his grace, and promise to serve him as your Lord in union with the church which Christ has opened to people of all ages, nations, and races? All right, um, let's see. According to the grace given to you, will you remain a faithful member of Christ's holy church and serve as Christ's representative in the, in the world? Okay, we ask all of you, the congregation gathered here, do you as Christ's body, the church, reaffirm both your rejection of sin and your commitment to Christ? Yes. Will you nurture one another in the Christian faith and life and include Joseph now before you in your care? With God's help, we will proclaim the good news and live according to the example of Christ. We will surround him with a community of love and forgiveness that he may grow in his trust of God and be found faithful in his service to others. We will pray for him that he may be a true disciple who walk in the way that leads to life. Let us all join together in professing the Christian faith as contained in the scriptures of the Old and New Testaments. Do you believe in God the Father? I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. Do you believe in Jesus Christ? I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven, is seated at the right hand of the Father, and will come again to judge the living and the dead. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit? I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Eternal Father, when nothing existed but chaos, you swept across the dark waters and brought forth light. In the days of Noah, you saved those on the ark through water. After the flood, you set in the clouds a rainbow when you saw your people as slaves in Egypt. You led them to freedom through the sea. Their children you brought through the Jordan to the land which you promised. In 
the fullness of time, you sent Jesus, nurtured in the water of a womb. He was baptized by John and anointed by your spirit. He called his disciples to share in the baptism of his death and resurrection and to make disciples of all nations. Pour out your Holy Spirit to bless this gift of water and Joseph who receives it to wash away his sin and clothe him in righteousness throughout his life that dying and being raised with Christ he may share in his final victory. Just stand on the floor. I think that would work nicely. <laughs> you can come close. Joseph Edward Massey III, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We normally give a towel to the. Well, yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, I just want to let that soak in. But we don't want the children to be afraid. But <laughs> Joseph, the Holy Spirit work within you, that being born through water and the Spirit, you may be a faithful disciple of Jesus Christ. Amen. Now it is our joy to welcome our new brother in Christ. Through baptism, you are incorporated by the Holy Spirit into God's new creation and made to share in Christ's royal priesthood. We are all one in Christ Jesus. With joy and thanksgiving, we welcome you as a member of the family of Christ. So Joseph, as a member of Christ's universal church, will you be loyal to, the, to Christ in the United Methodist Church and do all in your power to strengthen, it, strengthen its ministries? As a member of this congregation, will you faithfully participate in its ministries by your prayers, your presence, your gifts, your service, and your witness? Yes, Members of the household of God, I commend Joseph to your love and care. Do all in your power to increase his faith, confirm his hope, and perfect him in love. We give thanks for all that God has already given you, and we welcome you in Christian love as members together with you in the body of Christ and in this congregation of the United Methodist Church, we renew our covenant faithfully to participate in the ministries of the church by our prayers, our presence, our gifts, our service, and our witness. Bye. The God of all grace, who has called us to eternal glory in Christ, establish you and strengthen you by the power of the Holy Spirit that you may live in grace and peace. Amen. Love you.